Deputy Justice Pauline Nyamwea has this morning withdrawn from the race to be the next Deputy Chief Justice. Nyamwea says she comes from the same community as the nominee for Chief Justice David Maraga. She said she withdrew in the spirit of ethnic diversity and it will be unfair to other Kenyan communities for her to be the DCJ even if she qualifies. Now uh, joining us is Mojimi Mwangi with the latest uh, details on the interviews for the DCJ. A very good afternoon to you Mojimi. Thank you very much for joining us after Pauline Namwea's withdrawal. What next? Uh, good afternoon, uh, Akisa. Uh, well, she had the option of proceeding with the interviews up to the option of the JSC giving that name to President Uhuru Kenyatta, but uh, she chose to withdraw from that race at the present stage, uh, citing the nomination of uh, Justice David Maraga for the position of Chief Justice. And given that the Supreme Court has the seven slots, and presently the slots that are being contested in the present interviews are three that of the Chief Justice, the Deputy Chief Justice, and that of the Judge of the Supreme Court. She said that judging from uh, the ethnic background of uh, Justice Maraga, then perhaps it, it was more uh, a, better of, a better decision for her to withdraw now and uh, leave that opportunity for Kenyans from other parts of the country. Uh, but, but of course, uh, many will argue that she has set some sort of a precedent in the ongoing interviews, so much so that uh, once a parliament is done with uh, the uh, sealing the fate of Justice David Maraga, uh, they will be moving on to the uh, position of Deputy Chief Justice. And that, perhaps judging from the action of uh, Justice Nyamwea, then perhaps the candidates that have been shortlisted for the position of judge might have to take a similar route uh, based on uh, who the ultimate candidates for the chief and deputy chief justice will be. Remember, Justice Nyamwea had been shortlisted also for the position of judge of the Supreme Court, but she now says that she won't be appearing in any of the two interviews uh, much as she is qualified to serve in that second senior most position in the judiciary, Akisa. Thank you very